The planet is able to repair the damage caused by those of us here on Earth. Yeah, one way is plants removing carbon from our atmosphere. Here in San Diego, our coastal wetlands are one of the most efficient carbon processors. News 8's Sean Stiles explains what's being done to preserve them in this Earth 8 report. California's biodiversity is amazing, and along the California coastline, we have lagoons like this. The carbon they sequester plays a key role in our environment, but the loss of habitat is astounding. Basically, we're looking at about 10% of our wetlands are left uh, on the California coast. Zach Poplar is the associate director with Wild Coast, and they're doing research with the Scripps Institution of Oceanography on wetlands and how they play a key role when it comes to sequestering carbon. Fortunately, in a place like San Diego County, we still have these really unique coastal wetlands. Coastal vegetation like seagrass and marshlands create a unique carbon sink. These blue carbon ecosystems sequester and store five times more atmospheric carbon than, tro than tropical rainforests. Because they're so efficient, wetlands play a key role. So that acre by acre, they're incredibly important for pulling carbon out of the atmosphere and then storing it there for, for hundreds, if not thousands of years. But if developed, wetlands will release that carbon back into the atmosphere. So it's important to maintain and restore wetlands so we can hold on and capture more carbon. That's what's called a natural climate solution. So that's actually a, a, a much more affordable way to uh, help shore up this carbon and make sure that it stays there. And it's San Diego is rare in California with multiple wetlands and lagoons from Oceanside to Imperial Beach. In all of these locations, Wild Coast is working with uh, the Center for Climate Change Impacts and Adaptation at Scripps Institution of Oceanography to actually carry out San Diego County's first comprehensive blue carbon studies. Through the research that Scripps Institution of Oceanography and Wild Coast are doing, they hope to expand, conserve, and restore these blue carbon ecosystems we call wetlands.